good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, my brother and sisters of this world. Today, I'm going to be bringing you a message, and the title of this message is Prayers and Fasting Breaks Every Chain. Prayer and fasting break every chain. Hallelujah. <clears throat> and the first scripture reading really going to be coming from the book of Mark chapter 9 verse 29 uh, before then Jesus Christ took his disciple Peter John and James on the Mount of Transfiguration when they came down from the Mount of Transfiguration he told them to go two by two and evangelize and they went out to evangelize and they failed to even cast out demons to heal the sick. They failed and they came back to him in the house and they complained why they couldn't do this, why they couldn't cast out demons, why they couldn't heal the sick. And then verse 29, Mark chapter 9 verse 29, then Jesus Christ told them this thing. He told them this, and let me read, Mike 9, 29. Jesus replied, This kind can be cast out only by fasting and praying. Hallelujah. So, you see today, there are some situations in your life, and you're trying to overlook it. You're trying to, you know, play it low. Or I would say, dearly darling, you're trying to, you know, delay your, your blessing. There are so many situations in your life. The, in, in the topic right now today, uh, the only way these things can happen, except by your fasting and praying, you're going to break that chain. That chain could be uh, maybe a job. A good marriage and so on so on so on that chain the only way that chain gonna be broken or uh, for you to release your, uh, for you to receive your blessing is by you fasting and praying I'm a witness I can remember let me share a little story with you I used to fast so much until a lady look at me for long she said Prophet Mason and Prophet Blama, you, you, I beg you, do not go again and fast. Please, this week, stop because I just do it weekly. So she said, I beg you, please don't do it. I said, No, that is the will of God. God wants me to continue on doing this. Hallelujah. And the funny thing, when I go out to fast, when I come by, you're going to see me look skinny. Then within a few days, and I'm just going to get bigger. So, but with all that, fasting, oh, the thing that fasting do or does for you, you will not believe it. So, you who said them right there, if you want for God to perform in your life or do miraculous things for you, you better draw closer to God by fasting and pray. Hallelujah. And let me go on with the next scripture. The next one going to be coming from Isaiah chapter 58. We're going to re be reading from verse 7 all the way to 9. Isaiah 58 is too much. <laughs> oh, the, the, the blessing in Isaiah chapter 58 verses, you know, verses 3 all the way it's too much. But let me call it something. I will read you from verse 7 to 9. And I read. 
There is one of the greatest fasting. Some people don't know. Isaiah chapter 58 will tell you more about fasting. They get two different kind of fasting. They get a fasting where you don't eat. Then they get another fasting where, where I'm going to, oh, no, I'm, let me read it. Then you're going to know for true. There is the kind of fasting that some people who cannot, who cannot deprive themselves of eating, they love to eat, eat, eat. Then you can do this one. Let me read. Isaiah chapter 58, verse 7 to 9. Share your food with the hungry and give shelter to those and give shelter to the homeless. Give clothes to those who need them. And do not hide from your relatives who need your help. Hallelujah. So, there is the other kind of a fasting saying you want to eat, 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 eat. Then you can do this. If you you can do this one saying you like to eat. You can share your food with the home with people who do not have food. And share your 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 home or whatever you have to and with the people who, who are homeless. And do not forget to help your blood relatives. <laughs> that is one of the greatest fasting. Let me read verse 8. Then your salvation will come like the day and you and your womb will quickly heal. Your salvation will come like a day and your wounds will quickly be healed. And your goodness will lead you forward and the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. Your womb, there are some people today, you see there is one of the greatest fasting I love. Many people who know me, I preach on this so many times. There is one of the greatest fasting. You say you need, you need a, you need a child. You can't have, you know, you can't, you can't have a, a child. You, 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 you are, you are barrenness. You can't have a child. Right there, we just read Isaiah. Your womb will be fertile. God is going to fertilize your womb. You're going to have a child. I put anyone to ch to challenge anyone. I challenge you. If you do these things in Isaiah 58, I don't care how old you may be. You are a woman. I don't care. You are a man, and you you you. They, they say you impotent. Oh man, forget about that. I'm challenging you. I know what I'm talking about. If you apply these things, the Lord said, your womb is going to be healed. <laughs> I'm a witness. I saw this thing with my own eyes. I went through it. I talked to people ever and, and the day it happened. It can be cancer. What kind of a sickness? The Lord is going to heal you. In Jesus' name, the Lord is going to perform. If you give to the people who are hungry, you feed them. And you, you, if you have a big home, you, you shut down the people who are homeless. It don't have to be everybody, but somebody. God is going to perform. And you get close to people who are needed, who do not have clothes. And don't forget to help your blood relatives. It's there. Oh, man. Oh, oh, they say you cannot have a child. You're going to have a child. They say, oh, yeah, you are impotent. You can't function. You're going to function. Oh, my God. Whatever soul, whatever wound that you have, God is going to heal it. I'm a witness. 
<laughs> I am a witness. So there are two fasting. One, or you can deprive yourself of not eating. And the other one is what I'm reading there from Isaiah 58. Start from verse 7 to 9. If you read verse 10 or 11, you're going to say, oh my goodness. But you know what? We have other scriptures to share. So we'll stop there. So let me go on to verse 9. Then the verse 8, one thing I love about it, then the Lord will protect you from behind. After everything, he will protect you from behind. Nobody, no weapon that fought against you will prosper. Whether you are sleepy or whatever, the Lord is going to say, hey, God in there to protect you. Both sides, behind, wherever, in front, he will protect you. Let me go to first now. First now. Then, when you call, when you call the Lord, he will answer. Yes, I am here. He will quickly reply. Remove the heavy yoke of oppression. And stop pointing your fingers and spreading vicious rumors. The Lord will protect you. When you call on the God, he will answer you immediately. If you do this kind of a fasting, you feed the hungry. You, you get close, you shelter the people who are homeless. And you get to your blood relatives and oh uh, God is going to protect you from the back and the front from in front and behind he will protect you from the left and the right the two sides he will protect you there is nothing that God cannot do if you do these things there some people sitting there they wondering oh yeah I cannot have a child you making a mistake. If you apply, anyone who knows me, nothing else I depend on the word of God. I hold God by His word. And He performed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God said, if you call to Him, speedily He will respond. And I did it. I'm a witness. I did these things. I did it. When I was in Africa, I did it. Before I came to Africa, whatever the situation may be, because I did these things, my name was always first on the list. <laughs> Hallelujah. My name, I was coming to America, my name was always first on the list. Because I did these things. I went to the pressing copper. I carried clothes, food for those who in prison. I share money with people who are home. But I did these things. I'm a witness. I am myself. I am my witness. It's not, you know, the Bible says, practice what you preach. I did these things there. I know the significance. I know the goodness of what God's word is. I did these things. I did them. Then God will open the windows of heaven and bless you. He will bless you tremendously. He will do things that when people say they will wonder. So, oh, how did he get over? When then your salvation will come like a dam and your womb will be healed. That is God. Nobody like him. You don't have to go to the Vulu list. You don't have to go to the Susail or the front teller. You don't have to go on the spiritualist. You don't have to do that. Hold God by his word. Do this. If you like to eat, 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 then you can apply that all kind of fasting. Hallelujah. And let me go on to the next scripture. 
The next scripture is going to be coming from the book of Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. And I read, and when you fast, do not make it obvious as the hypocrite do. For they try to look miserable and this, one me, I'm, I'm, one, excuse me, they try to look, let me read from the beginning again. Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. And when you fast, do not make it obvious as the hypocrite do. For they cry to look miserable and, and so people will admire them for their fasting. I tell you the truth that it is only the reward they will receive or get. Saying you want when you fasting, you want to do it, you want for people to admire you by you fasting. No. When you fasting, do it in a way that people will not notice. That what about the scripture is saying right there. Verse 16. When you fasting, do not make people suspect that, oh yeah, you fasting, except God tell you to do it in general or the whole nation. Everybody gonna know that we're fasting. God the whole God told the whole nation to do it. But when you do something and you communicate with God, do not make people suspect and you are you look very, very deplorable. You look that kind of a Terrible, you look in a kind of a terrible situation. When people see you alone, so now you just, when you walk, walk, then you spit. They get some group. When they fasting, everybody will know. When they pass, oh, and they walk few days in the distance, then they spit. When you in there talking, and they spit it all around. No. Then their, 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 their appearance look very, very deplorable. Their appearance look very ridiculous. Their hair look that kind of a, you know, quonsal. You, they look very, very awkward. So the Bible says that when you're fasting, make yourself to look in a situation, make yourself to look beautiful, unique. Comb your hair, take a shower, grease yourself, look, speak, and speak, so nobody will notice. Then your father who see that, and he's going to reward you. Hallelujah. Let me go on to verse 17. Hallelujah. Verse 17. But when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 6, verse 16 to 18. Verse 17 just said, when you fast, comb your hair and wash your face. You can, you know, put whatever make a set to look decent. That's what the Bible is saying. Verse 18. Then, no one will notice that you are fasting except your father who knows what you do in private and your father who sees everything will reward will reward you hallelujah my brother and sister explain it's I, I i said it before and we read it not too long explain god is watching you he want to know who you are there are people today you have a lot of chain, the chain of oppression, the chain of depression, the chain of suppression, the chain of you, you cannot find a job, the chain of you cannot find a good marriage, the chain of so many chains that you have right now in your life. 
The only way the chain is going to be broken is by prayers and fasting. Pray and fasting. You got to you got to fast. Fasting? <laughs> oh, how great fasting is. I am a witness. My brother and sister, do not overlook it. Do not take it. You sit today, maybe the situation that you're in right now, you supposed to blame yourself for the situation you're in right now. Let me give you a common example. I think three or four months ago, I said I was going 40 day fasting. So the 40 day fasting, I had a lot of situation in my life to take care of. But how I was going to do it, I just put it in go here. I said, God, please, I, you know what the situation is. Please, Lord, I'm going to do the fasting. So the first week, seven days, no water, nothing. Then the next following week was little water in the evening by seven o'clock. So two weeks went. Then the next following week, no water. Then the following week, a little water, seven o'clock in the evening. So four weeks went right there. Then I had to go to, I had to work. I, I work in, I interact with people, but they don't know what I'm doing. So in short war, it was a roller coaster fasting. So what happened is this the second week, going to the third week, I was praying, and the Holy Spirit just came upon me and said, your prayer has been answered. I said, but God, I'm not finished yet. He said, your prayer has been answered. So I will ask him all stubborn. Then he relate me into the book of Acts chapter 10. Then I will read it. I said, oh, I know the story about Cornelius, the army guard, who, you know, uh, uh, fasted three days on the fourth day. God sent an angel to go and tell Cornelius that your prayer has been answered. God, yeah, your prayer your, and your fasting, your prayer and your fasting have been answered. God is going to release your blessing. So when God told me that, then I got a confirmation right there. Then stay. I stay continue. And I ended it. So it was a roller coaster fasting because I had to go to work and interact with people, talk to people. But the only thing I'm praying against God, oh God, please do not make me to be tempted. And to guide my words, my mouth, guide me. Go, oh, Father God, bring around good people, good spirit. So after the Father day fasting, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> God is like God took me to a different dimension, a different world. My life, or the way I was, I was looking, or my spiritual attitude, my physical, everything changed. I couldn't believe it. I just see myself doing this. Oh, so I was not doing this? Oh my God. I, I see myself doing this. I see myself progressing. I said, oh, my God. My people, I just want to tell you that fasting works. It works. Hallelujah. That is my testimony right there. And let me go on to Daniel chapter 10, verses 3. Daniel chapter 10, verses 3. All 
that time I have eaten no food, no meat, or wine across my lips, and I use no fragrance or no fragrant lotions until those three weeks are the three week have passed. So Daniel fasted for 21 days. You heard that? Three weeks. 21 day fasting. No food. No water. No perfume. No deodorant. Nothing. He was just playing by himself. 21 days. Three weeks. You can't have it. You can't have it do either three days. What is going on? You think when you do 21 days, nothing going to happen to you. You will not die. Nothing going to be, nothing will happen to you. Nothing. But after when you finish doing these things there, you're going to see God working miracles. And people are going to attest to it. I am a witness. God is going to do something great in your life. There is some stormy black right now in your life as I'm talking to you. There is an obstacle right now in your life as I'm talking to you. There is a trials and tribulation that you're going through right now as I'm talking to you. The only way this chain is going to be broken or this chain is going to be broken except you fast and pray. Pray for the fasting. That is the only way this chain is going to be broken. And you got to do it. Do not delay. Do not waste time. As I'm talking to you, you right there, listen to my voice. Do it. Either you go with all food or you apply Isaiah 58. Hallelujah. My brother and sister, there is a purpose. There is a reason why God is bringing you this message. Because God knows what you are going through right now. God knows. You're looking for financial breakthrough. You're looking for so many breakthrough. I don't have to name them. But all oh, the only way this thing is gonna happen except by fasting and praying. You want to you want for God to give you that blessing for you to travel overseas or wherever you want to go. You have to fast and pray. Give it to Christ. And He will work miracles for you. I am a witness. I am a testimony. I am a witness. If I say this to you, all this thing that I'm telling you right now is true. And let me read the last scripture. First Corinthians 8 8. And I read, it's true that we cannot win God approval by what we eat. We cannot lose anything if we do not eat. And we do not gain anything. If we do, you will, you cannot get God proven by eating. Oh yeah, they, oh yeah. Oh, they, oh, right now, I'm talking to someone, they're thinking about, oh yeah, the food, food. I think that, you know, one guy was talking to me, I said, oh, uh, so you, you're from Liberia? I said, yeah. The guy said, uh, which, which, tribe you belong to or which dollar do you speak? I say I am a crew man. The guy says so how do they call fool? Uh, so he make a sentence he say uh uh tell you know say uh Mama, I want to eat. 
So, oh, uh, where is my food? That's the, that what that's the, you know that what he said. So I said, I am an English crewman. So he started laughing. So he said, but say it. Where is my food? So I said, uh, brother, where is my do brother? Can you imagine what I said I was? The guy started laughing. Because it looks so strange for me to pull it. In English, they at the end I ended in crew. Where is my do brother? Do better in crew means fool. Where is man do better? So, all in all, what I'm trying to say right now, fool do better. It does not, you know, give you God approval. If you do not eat, nothing gonna happen to you. Down there faster for 21 days, nothing happened to him. Hallelujah. You think Daniel is not a human being like you? Daniel is not an angel. He's not. He or he might be like you. For you to go turn one day with all no food in your mouth. Oh, you there, you, you right now you hesitating. Right now you suffering from complex indecision. What I, I would I, I can't do it, man. Oh, I, I I would try to do it. No, when you go before God, when you said three weeks, it should be three weeks. Don't play no, you know, dilly dally. No delaying it. When you go before God, you carry it to Him like that. I'm going three weeks. It should be three weeks. Hallelujah. So then, that crew may say, do by the full business. Some people, they are far away from God. Okay, I got good news for you. Then you apply Isaiah 58. Give to the homeless. And Give to the people who are hungry. Give to your blood relatives. And share your clothes with people who do not have clothes. If you can do this one, no problem. Hallelujah. God loves you and I love you. And I come back at the Holy Spirit lead. May God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen.